a young sister by the name of Sandra Bland was arrested and taken into custody. And it's alleged that while she was in custody, she committed suicide and hung herself with the trash bag. And um, it's a lot of different speculations going on. A lot of people are talking about this particular issue. You know, it's another issue out here involving bad police conduct towards black Americans. And I'm going to go ahead and play you guys some of the uh, cam footage of what took place before she was taken into custody. Because this plays a lot into um, everything that goes involving with this case. And I'll come back with my commentary and my thoughts. Okay, man. You okay? I'm waiting on you. You. This is your job. I'm waiting on you. What do you want me to do? Oh, you seem very irritated. I am. I, I really am. But I feel like this cab is what I'm getting the ticket for. I was getting out of your way. You were speeding up, tailing me. So I move over and you stop me. So, yeah, I am a little irritated, but that doesn't stop you from giving me a ticket. So. Are you done? You asked me what was wrong and I told you. Okay. So now I'm done, yeah. Okay. You mind putting out your cigarette, please? Don't mind. I'm in my car, but I have to put out my cigarette. Well, you can step on out now. I don't have to step out of my car. Step out of the car. Step no, out of the car. Have, no, you don't have the right. Step not, out of the car. You do not have the right to do that. I do have the right. Now step I out or I will remove you. I refuse to talk to you other than to identify myself. Step and out or I will remove you. I am getting removed for a failure. Step to out or I will remove you. I'm giving you a lawful order. Get out of the car now or I'm going to remove you. And I'm calling my lawyer. I'm going to yank you out of here. Okay, you're going to yank me out of my car? Get out. Okay, all right. 25. Let's, let's do this. Yeah, we're going to. Yeah. Don't, don't touch me. Get out of the car. Don't touch me. I'm not under arrest. You don't have the right to say You are I'm under arrest. I'm under arrest for what? 25. For what? County FM 1098. Just for what? 290. Send me another unit. Get out of the car. Get out of the car now. Why am I being You're trying to give me a ticket I said for get failure? out of the car. Why am I being apprehended? You I'm giving you a lawful order. Door. You I'm going to drag you out of here. So you're going you to drag me out of my own car. Get out of the car. And then you I will light me? you up. Get out. Wow. Now. Wow. Get out of the car. Really for a failure to signal. You're doing all of this for Get over there. Right, yeah. Yeah, let's take this to court. Let's do Go it. ahead. For a failure to signal. Yep, for a failure to signal. Get off the phone. On my school. Get off the phone. I'm not on the phone. I have a right Put to record. Put your phone this down. Property. This Put your phone property. down. Sir? Put your phone down. Right now. Put your phone down. For a fucking failure to signal, my goodness. Come over here. Y'all are interested. Come over interested. here now. You, you feeling good about yourself? Stand right here. You feeling good about yourself? Stand right there. For a failure to signal, you feel real good Turn about yourself, don't you? Turn around. You feel good about yourself, don't you? Turn around now. What, what are you? Put your hands behind your back and turn arrested? around. Turn around. Why can't you tell me? I'm giving why you a lawful order. I will tell you. Why am I being arrested? Turn why around. Why not you tell me that part? I'm giving you a lawful order. Turn around. Why will you not tell you me what's not going complying. on? You are not complying. I'm not complying because you just pulled me out of my car. Turn around. Are you fucking kidding me? This is some bullshit. Put your hands you know behind your back. Because you know this is straight bullshit and you full of shit. Full of straight shit. That's all y'all is. It's a scary fucking cop. South Carolina got y'all bitch asses scared. That's all it is. Fucking scared of a female. If you would have just listened. I was trying to sign the fucking ticket. Whatever. Stop moving. Are you fucking serious? Stop you? moving. Oh, I can't wait till we go to court. Oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait till we go to court. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. You want me to sit down now? No. Or are you going to you gonna throw me to the floor? That'll make you feel better about yourself? Knock it off. No, nah, that'll make you feel better about yourself? That'll make you feel real good, won't it? Pussy ass. Fucking pussy. For a failure to signal, you're doing all of this. A little ass prayer review Texas. My God, they they must want to. You were getting a warning until now. You're going to jail. No, I'm getting a, for what? You can come for read. What? Come read right. I'm getting a warning for what? Stay right here. For what? Well, you stay just right pointed here. me over there. I said stay right Get here. Get your fucking mind right. Let me. Oh, I swear on my life, y'all some pussies. A pussy ass cop for a fucking signal. You are taking me to jail. She's in what a pussy. What a pussy. Um, what a pussy. You about to break my fucking wrist. Stop moving. I'm standing still. You Stand keep right moving here. me, goddammit. 
Stand right there. Don't touch me. Fucking pussy for a traffic Okay, so you guys checked out part of what all occurred during this incident. Now, Sandra Bland was a community activist. She was somebody who was, you know, she actually, you know, her um, resume as far as what she does, she reminded me of myself. You know, she she's out here in the community. She speaks. Uh, she would do certain videos on social media. And, you know, this could have been any of us that come out here and do videos. You know, if I walk outside right now. And, you know, get shot by the police or whatever. You better be damn sure they're going to come back on YouTube and pull up all my videos. So, you know, what I mean, just just looking at what she stood for and, 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 you know, the videos and everything, you know, she reminded me of us who come out here and do videos of those who are out there in the community doing things. But, um, you know, I saw disruption from both sides. First of all, I feel like San Sandra Bland um, didn't even have to really get into it with this guy, you know, and, and, and also the cop was not again, like we've been hearing over and over and over was not using proper police protocol. Now, when the cop came up and, you know, he, I guess he sensed that, you know, she was a little irritated, you know, by her vibe and her tone. And he asked her what was wrong. She responded to him. And then he, he kind of got mad with her because she responded when he was the asshole that asked her what was wrong. So, you know, she would she would apply. But also, I think, you know, when he asked her to put the cigarette out, you know, you have to understand that these officers, they do put their life on the line every day. And if the officer asks you to put your cigarette out, who gives a shit? Put it out. Go on about your business. And, you know, I, I, I think because she was irritated, because it was an officer, because of what's been going on. In society, as far as black Americans and just throughout history, you know, she kind of was at that point where, like, you know, she was irritated. She didn't want to be bothered with it, with this white officer. And, you know, he, he basically was vexing her. And us as black Americans, you know, we go through so much in the day. And then sometimes you do get those days, you know, where. You know, you, you might wake up in the morning or you might be going through something in your life. And you're like, I'm not in the mood for any shit, you know, and in the first racist person or officer or anybody who oversteps their boundaries, you're going to light into their ass. You know, and it just us as black Americans, sometimes we we have those days. You know, I think as a black American, you have to um someone know how to operate through society because it is different for us. You know, our experience when we step outside our door is completely different opposed to someone who is white. So, you know, we do have to have a certain mindset when we step out of our homes every day, but it's just, you, you know, I, I feel like she didn't really have to even go there with that guy. Obviously, you know, she disagreed with the ticket, but all you do, you, you set the ticket Go on about your, your business. Go fight in court. I get bogus tickets all the time in L.A. And these LAPD people, they, they be itching to pull you over and give you a bogus ticket. But a lot of times you just have to be smart and you have to know when to fight something at that moment and when to just go on about your business because these officers out here are itching to blow you away for anything. And, you know, I've been in... um you know, certain altercations like this. And if I feel like it's, it's, it's going to a level where I don't want it to go, or I feel like something is extremely unjust, I'll tell them to call the captain out. And these officers do not want the captain to come out because that looks bad on their part. So you, you really have to know the law out here. You damn have to be a paralegal, you know, <laughs> being a black American out here in this world, because, you know, we're faced with so much adversity day in and day out. But then when I look at it from the cop's point of view, you know, he, he got hostile with uh, Sandra Bland and he basically didn't know how to control himself with someone who might have been a little snappy with him or had uh, a certain aggressive tone with him. You know, all he had to do was write this woman a ticket, you know, get in the squad car, go look for another another person to bust and go meet your quota. That's all he had to do. But instead, you know, he, he opens this woman's car door. He asked her to get out, which was uncalled for because, you know, if she has an attitude, whatever. You do your job, you give it a ticket, you go on about your business. But for him to get so aggressive and so hostile and ask this woman to step out of her vehicle simply because he didn't like her tone and then use the words, I will light you up, 
That's not proper po- protocol. That's an officer who is has the mindset and who is ready to shoot you and lay you out. And that's the problem with a lot of these officers out here. You know, they, they go to work. You know, a lot of these people were, were pussies when they were kids. You know, didn't stand up for anything in their life, so they get that badge and that gun, and they want to go out here and they want to harass people. And a lot of times with these white officers, their number one target is black Americans because of, the, you know, what's being shown in the media or, you know, what, what they've been raised with or the police department in general. So, you know, this officer was ready to light her up, like he said, and ready to do bodily harm towards her. Now, what this officer should have done, you know, if it was that big of a deal with what was, was taking place. First of all, he should have called for backup. Anytime you feel like you're, you're being um, threatened or you feel like you might be in harm, you call for backup. This is a woman. You call for a woman back, backup squad. And I believe it was a woman after, you know, she was um, pulled out of her car and, you know, mauled to the ground like a damn bear. You know, I believe there was a female officer that was present, but that officer from the jump should have made that move, but made that move. But, you know, she was taken into custody days later. I believe she made a phone call to one of her relatives. You know, I did hear um, the audio of the phone call. She didn't sound like, you know, she was contemplating death or anything like that she basically just seemed like she wanted to get out of that position and it is you know it came out that um she deals with uh or she has attempted to commit suicide before but when they saw i, I guess the uh the, the chart sheet you fill out when you're you're being arrested and they asked the question do you feel like you are suicidal at the moment she checked no so it's a lot of speculation to what really went down with her death was it really a, a suicide or was it one of these officers that went in there and made it look like a suicide because when we look at her full resume we look at the fact that you know um she seemed like a woman that stands up for herself she was a community activist she was someone who made videos about police brutality and black issues like a lot of us out here do when we look at all that when we look at the fact that this woman was on the road to start a new job, I believe she had two job offerings. When we look at everything on the table, everything, this doesn't add up to someone who will be out to commit suicide. And, you know, me personally, I think one of these officers had it in for, you know, we don't exactly know what took place while she was in custody. Now, we know what happened while she was on the road because of the camera, but there could have been a lot of altercations that took place while she was in custody. Officer might have got mad and said, you know what? I'm going to fix this nigga up. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to hang her ass and pretend like she committed suicide because looking at her chart sheet, she had issues with depression and she did attempt to commit suicide before and yeah i guess i believe it said she took pills or something like that to uh you know commit suicide and a lot of us you know blacks we deal with depression we deal with um you know anxiety post-traumatic stress because of the lives we live you know every day when we walk outside of our home we don't know if we're going to come back you know, that's why a lot of brothers and, 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 and you know sisters we kiss our spouses and we kiss our kids because we don't know one wrong move, one traffic stop, being in the wrong place at the wrong time, that can be it for you. So it's not a surprise, it's not a surprising thing when I heard that. But you know, I mean, I, I think that somebody within that police department had it in for, they looked at everything she was involved in, they said, you know what? I'm gonna take her out. You know, people not gonna think nothing because she said she was suffering with depression. So we'll just write off as, you know, a, a suicide. And I truly think it was somebody that was working within that police department or within that jail that took this woman out. And it needs to be highly investigated because something, it just, all this just does not add up. The puzzle does not fit. And I find it hard to believe that a woman who had a lot of opportunities going for herself seemed like a very strong willed woman. Will just take her life just because she's been locked. She's been locked up. I find that very hard to believe. 
But I'm going to sit back and I'm going to watch how all this is going to play out. But it definitely needs to be highly investigated. Um, You know, my prayers and thoughts go out to Sandra Bland's family, her friends, uh, you know, everybody who, um, you know, has some type of contact with her or has been affected by this. But, you know, I mean, it's a damn shame because it's like every single day we, we, we are hearing or reading about one of our brothers and sisters losing their lives. And it usually is connected somehow to the police department. But you guys give me your feedback on this, on this case and what you feel um, you happened and, and just your overall thoughts about it. But, uh, you know, rest in peace to this sister. And, you know, my prayers and thoughts go out to her family. Peace.